In this video, I'm going to explain how you can screen record your iPad in iOS 11. Usually I uh, record everything on my Mac. So I link my iPad to, uh, with the lightning connector to my Mac and then I screen record everything with QuickTime. You could also uh, screen record in Procreate when you went to uh, Actions and then to Video, but that feature isn't available anymore because now you can screen record everything in iOS 11. So when you swipe up, you'll see the control center of iOS and screen recording is now not on yet. So we first need to go to the settings of your iPad and on the left you see control center and when you press on that you first get um, a text with customized controls when you tap on customize controls you get all the options for the control center in iOS 11 and here is what is included on top so the torch the timer the camera and the Apple TV remote and underneath you have more controls and here you see screen recording. So press on the plus and then it's moved to your control center. So when you go back to the main screen of your iPad and swipe up, you see the screen recording. And when you tap and hold it, you get more options and you can switch on the, the audio or switch it off. Just gonna switch it on and then you can start recording. So now I'm going to switch over to uh, the iPad recording. So I'm just going to tap start recording and then you see a countdown. And now your screen is being recorded. And the great thing about that is that you can leave your app because it's recording everything on your iPad and it's recording everything in 4k which is great you know for doing tutorials or if you want to explain something uh, about an illustration you did or uh, you want to explain uh, apps you're using that's a great way you know to screen record everything in iOS 11. When you want to stop the recording you can do that in two ways go back to the main screen of your iPad and you can uh, stop it in the control center, but you can also tap on the top of your iPad. You see a red bar and when you tap on it, you get an option to stop your recording. It's then saved to the photos library and from the photos library, you can export it to your MacBook Pro or Mac, or you can even uh, open up iMovie and edit everything on your iPad. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. And season's greetings. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.